Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching this video from. Welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Taking a look at uh, the New Zealand dollar US dollar pair here today, and as you can see, it's been pretty sloppy. I mean, kind of a grind higher on this daily chart that I've got up. Uh, so, so not a whole lot to be excited about overall, but. What I do find somewhat exciting, uh, something to be aware of, is, is the potential upside that still exists. Uh, you know, as I said, we've had this grind higher, so really haven't covered a tremendous amount of ground. It's just been, again, slowly and methodically moving its way higher. And uh, you, you can see we've got kind of this ascending triangle type formation where we've got all these higher lows, but the highs are relatively equal, especially over the last couple weeks. So the range is contracting. And if we look at the weekly chart, you can see here the weekly is on the verge of breaking out. You know, it seems to have carved out a bottom. We've had this attempt to move lower going back to the end of last year that failed. And it rallied back up. We are now consolidating up at the top of this range. So if we can break over these highs, there's some really nice potential upside here. So um, that's what I'm going to be looking for over the coming days and weeks. And we'll see what, what kind of breakout we do get. But, uh, you know, again, it, it's it's somewhat early because we haven't yet had the breakout. But to be perfectly honest, I, I really don't see much this week as far as US dollar pairs that that has me all that excited for trending possibilities um, this is one of the better things out there in terms of what might happen again if it can break out of this range a lot of the other pairs are sideways and and pretty sloppy also so wanted to highlight this one in particular so basically with the bias on the weekly being more bullish uh, with the daily kind of grinding higher and buyers continuing to step up on pullbacks, what we're going to want to do is either A, wait for the top of this range to be cleared, and, and at that point you can buy the breakout, or just look to go down to intraday time frames, you know, an hourly, for example, and look to buy pullbacks into support. So here it is pulling back into this support area. You got some moving averages lining up there as well, and you can see there's a little bit of a bounce taking place. So, uh, you know, if you're going to go to the intraday time frames, it certainly isn't the cleanest uh, just because that's the nature of a grind. But it is something to pay attention to and be aware of. Right? Um, you know, if you have any other questions, if you'd like me to highlight any other pairs, just simply comment in the comment section below or you can always email me kurt at pristine.com and i can do a special video uh, based on that request so uh, as always make sure to like and and subscribe to the video so you can receive future updates if you have not already done so but also make sure that you're staying disciplined patient and if you're doing that it will breed confidence and that is ultimately what we're all after here as traders so i uh, hope you've enjoyed this video hope you found it uh, valuable and useful hopefully you can make some money from the information that i've provided you here today but uh, until the next video take care guys and we'll talk again soon